Hi, welcome to Block One. My name is Kristen Deal. I am some of your children's concert choir director. Some of the other students that participate in our Block One classes, concert choir and wind ensemble, are taught by Mr. Robbie Trescavage, who will appear later in this little film. We have some things to share with you today about Schoology, smart music, and the opportunities that we are very excited to provide for your students this school year. We are always available via email or Schoology message if you have any questions or concerns about anything going on in class or something that we present in this video today. So don't be shy. Feel free to contact us again, Kristen Deal, Concert Choir, and Robbie Trescavage, Wind Ensemble. Let's get to the kids. The primary platform that we will be using to interact with students, both online and on-site, is Schoology, much like for their other classes that they are taking. So when students uh, come to class, either again at home or in school, they will go directly to the daily attendance form and click on it and complete uh, the questions, just letting us know that they are present for class. Then if they are on site, we will take them through a variety of activities. Some of them will be in Schoology, maybe some resources will be in there that they will be pointed to. Uh, the students that are online will click on their either Monday, Tuesday they're online, or their Thursday, Friday they are online folder. And inside that folder are assignments where things can be submitted, like for instance this choir at home rehearsal check. I'm looking for some comments on how their practicing went for the assignment that I posted there. When there are different pages in Schoology, that's usually just information about what is coming next. Like, for instance, this one is meet us at 745 for our Google Meet virtual rehearsal, where we combine the students in the auditorium with the students online and they have their ensemble back together again. The Wednesday online assignments folder is for all of the students at once because obviously they are all at home at that point. If at any point a student has a question about when something is due, they can check the calendar for assignments. Or again, we would really recommend completing your daily attendance and then checking the online assignment folder to make sure that they know what is due and what is occurring when in class. Students may always use the messaging feature to check in with us about questions or concerns that they may have, and we will get back to them as soon as we possibly can. Um, we appreciate as much detail as possible so that we can answer your questions quickly. Next thing that's available in Schoology, uh, syllabus, roster, these are just some miscellaneous materials that we store in there, so if that is of interest to you, that's where that is. Um, students will be graded based on their participation, their musicianship, and uh, how well they're performing as time goes on. Last but not least in Schoology, there is a choir practice tracks folder for the concert choir students. You will see that there are a variety of different folders in here where students can get the different tracks that we're singing along with, some translations to things, and, and items like that. Mr. Trescavage will now talk about smart music, which is our other practice option online, uh, very heavily used by wind ensemble, but also used by concert choir. Now I'd like to talk with you about smart music. Smart music is a music system that has been around for quite a while, specifically for bands, but now for choirs. And all of our students in wind ensemble and concert choir are utilizing smart music and have their own account so they can practice at home to many of the pieces of music that we're working on in class. This is what smart music looks like when they log in. And when they finally go to a selection, it looks like this. And I want you to just to kind of see how this operates. Uh, the nicest thing about smart music is it gives them a chance to practice their part individually. So I could literally isolate by doing just a few clicks here, the part if I'm a soprano to play, to sing along, just with my part. So it's a very nice way for them to practice. They can then add in 
the entire choir and sing along. Simulating as best they can a full ensemble experience. Now with that being said, there's a lot of tools up here that they're able to take advantage of, change the tempo, slow it down, speed it up, put on a metronome, uh, check a tuner, all kinds of things. Make the display bigger or smaller and even loop areas where they can actually practice small areas measure by measure or a few notes at a time to get better. With that being said, Smart Music is where many of our assignments are located. So if I click on Wind Ensemble, I'll see due dates for different assignments. But if you do see that, sometimes they'll say practice track. Um, and practice track means it's just for practice that's not actually an assignment. But something that is an assignment is listed right here and the due date will be here. It'll also be located, the due dates will also be located inside of Schoology in their calendar. And there's the same two assignments right there that are due on the 16th. So again, Smart Music is a system that we're using, um, a great practice tool. We're going to be asking students to utilize this practice tool um, pretty much daily. And uh, by doing so, there's a lot of great ways to get better and the ways to practice uh, utilizing Smart Music. We'll be showing them throughout the year as well, demonstrating better ways to practice, uh, to minimize how much time they have to practice to practice better uh, as they go throughout this semester. To wrap everything up for you, uh, we want to just say we're really looking forward to a, a great year of wind ensemble and concert choir. And um, the biggest question mark we have for the year that we can't answer right now are the performances. So performances are kind of on hold. Uh, however, we're looking at opportunities for live streaming concerts. And we're still hopeful that maybe there's a chance that we could even have an in-person concert come, let's say, next, uh, next January. So with that being said, we, we look forward to working with your students. If you have any questions at all, you can always reach Kristen or I via email at, at the start of this video. And uh, we thank you for watching. And uh, once again, uh, we look forward to a great year with your students.